What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Titanic Feet Jack, and I'm back at you with another video today. I'd like to welcome everyone back to the channel. If you're a returning subscriber, what's going on with you? How you doing? Appreciate you coming back. And for anyone that's new watching for the first time, what's going on with you? I ask that you drop a comment down in the comment section. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know what's happening with you, and I will reply back to you. And... If you like the content that you're watching, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload a video or go live on this channel. And also, I need everyone that's watching to hit that like button. The like button helps the channel grow, and I greatly appreciate you hitting that like button. Also, I have this giveaway going on. Once this channel reaches 1.5k subs, I will be giving away a free pair of sneakers, so stay tuned to my YouTube channel. Also, you have to follow me on my socials, my Instagram and Twitter. I have those linked down below. And also be a subscriber here on my YouTube channel. Now, today we're going to look at a sneaker. But before we get into that, y'all remember a few weeks back, I had did this video on a pair of sneakers, the... Uh, Nike SB Dunk Low Cold Purple that I purchased from StockX and they sent me the sneakers and they were used and all that good stuff. I was very upset about that. So I sent those sneakers back to StockX and it did give me a full refund. So shout out to StockX for that. But I still wanted the sneakers so I reached out to Uncle Billy Go Old Goat. Old Goat to Kevin. So I got them in, guys. I got my dunks. Yes. Got them in from GOAT. The additional laces are with the sneakers and they are attached. The pair I got from StockX had no additional laces and they had footprints on the insole. So I got me a fresh pair. They're all mine. They're brand new. And I got my GOAT sticker and authentication card. Yes, I just wanted to share that with you guys, update you on that situation. Because, man, I was very hot that they sent me a pair of used dog on shoes with people footprints on it and human hair on the inside. Dag on shame, but kudos to them, they right it there wrong. But the sneaker we're going to look at today is this bad boy here. Some of you may recognize the box. Hey, look at it. This is a re-release or a retro of a sneaker that came out some time ago in the early 2000s, I believe. I'll put it on the screen to correct me. But I'm going to read the label for you guys. It says Nike Air Max 1 Clock Color Net Deep Red Orange Blades. Size 15, personal pair. There's no US sizing. I'm sorry, no US pricing on here because this came from across that water from GOAT. Not sure why I purchased them after the US release. Maybe there weren't a lot of size 15. But take a look at the box. You have the Clot logo. Clot is a brand here in the US and this is not their first collab with Nike. Let's see who is this here. Sign. This seems to be state embodied parts in English and another language. I can't read other languages but if I had to guess it's either Japanese or Chinese. Look at the tissue. The tissue has the clock logo on here. And a little cable car type looking design. And we talked about them. Let's go and get the sneaker out. The Air Max 1 clock. Yes. Laces attached. Reached out to my Uncle Billy Go to Game. Here's the other one. These are some pretty big sneakers. I was told to get your regular size on these because of the, the way these are made. Let's see, we have the gold sticker and the authentication card here. Let's sit down here. Let's 
to just see from the side. It's so you good. Inside the box, you see your green and white sticker. And look at the display inside the box. Beep. Yes. And you also saw that sticker inside there. Okay, guys. We're going to get a closer look at these bad boys right here. Yes, guys, we have the Air Max 1 o'clock, the kiss of death. We're going to go ahead and look at the sneaker. On the upper, you have a, a tan color. On the upper, which is in a suede, a short grain of suede. The swoosh is animal print in that net deep red colorway. And right here is the net deep red colorway as well, which goes around the heel. This is actually 3M. And you got that orange going here. This is part of the clock logo. Clock is a boutique over there in Hong Kong. You have this type of ostrich, like ostrich leather right here going around your ankle. This comes on here as well. Can't, oh, has a little message on here. See that, guys? It's hooked on your eyelid. You got like that laser green on the inside and it has a white leather material going around it. Midsole, you have that orange midsole going around your air housing. You got a clear bubble and on the inside is that net red colorway. You got translucent material at the very bottom of your midsole which leads to the outsole. Here's your outsole. Outsole is a list of different pressure points when you give them massages, that's what all those numbers and codes were on the inside of the box did. Also have corresponding numbers and codes on the insole of the sneaker. We're going to get to that in a second. You can see that on the bottom. Put your clock logo on here and it does say Nike Air right here in the translucent. And that little boy on the inside. Pretty much the same as the outside of the sneaker. You have that net red leather and that animal print material. You have this ostrich leather going around your ankle. You have that white leather right here going around your eyelid, which is like a laser green type color weed. You got that orange midsole again with the clear bubble and the net red on the inside with the translucent at the very bottom. This is the coolest part of the sneaker to me, that toe box. You have a translucent toe box. You can clearly see through the uh, sneaker and see your socks. So make sure you wear some nice socks. Don't put that pair on that got the holes in it. Uh, and it got the holes in here to give you some type of breathing room. But I'm hearing different people say that these may fog up. So we'll see about that. 
You got your tan wax laces. That's what they come laced with. It also comes with some additional laces. You got that neck deep red color laces. in the lace bag and it's affixed to the right sneaker on the inside. So if you're buying these on the UCL market, make sure you guys have a legit pair. You can compare them to mine. All these from GOAT. Checked out. You got that neck red. Leather material on your tongue, and to the top of the tongue, you have a suede patch in a tan colorway with Nike Air Max in like that laser green colorway. Let's go ahead and get all this stuffing from out the inside. You got this number seven. Normally, see those in dress shoes like buying Stacy Adams or something. That's what I'm used to seeing that little prop in on the side of the shoe. Got this tissue, they folded it in half. And on the inside of the tongue, you have your clock logo again. And the inside of this tongue is leather. Let's go Size it tag says US size 15 production date. August 26th to November 13th at the production date on these. And this is the inside of the sneaker. This is what's written on your insert. And here is what's written on the insole of the right sneaker. You have those numbers and those codes and hit different pressure points when you're getting the massages. Each number hit certain spots on the foot it affects a different part of the body so this is kind of cool to have this on here if you are a massage therapist i'm probably preaching to the choir when i'm explaining what's on this answer but this is pretty cool that they did this comment below let me know what y'all think of these and to, we're gonna look at the box real quick because there's some things on the box as well this, you see this writing on here that actually means this this is some writing that means clock family or paying homage to them also you got this writing on the top some type of calligraphy writing and it does say air max one you can understand right here and you got that cable cord looking thing design on all of the so it's a little something different with the box. And like his numbers over here kind of matches the number. Let's get this insole out again. On the right sneaker, on the right insole. Basically, what's on the right insole is the same thing on the inside of the box. Hit different pressure points and you get some type of reaction. They also see, uh, let me get that out of here. Side of the box, it has it numbered, and you can use that. This is a reference right here for the numbers, which are written right here on the clock logo on the bottom as well. So, let me know what y'all think of these sneakers, guys. I really love them, they're really cool. Man, after I got these off of gold, why? I ended up stumbling across a pair for retail at one of my local boutiques. Oh, goodness gracious. So this size 15 is actually for sale because I was told that get your regular size because these rain big due to the lack of materials on the inside the way these are constructed. And that actually slipped my mind and I bought my regular size because normally I wear size 15 Air Max 1 because they run small. So I ended up getting 15 but when I ran across the 14 in the store the other day I went on and grabbed it. So I got my size 14 this size 15 is for sale. Anybody need a 15 get that. Follow me on IG DM me and we'll work something out. 
So let me know what you think of this sneaker. Drop that comment in the comment section. And like I always tell y'all, if y'all can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack. I'm signing out.